some of the challenges are obviously the uh, the logistics in terms of getting the, the height of the project and getting all the materials um, up and down. Um, another challenge was in terms of the, uh, the steel structure uh, was just moving the steel inside of the the window space and then everything had to be uh, completely dimensioned out and very precise ahead of time so that the the pieces were fabricated off-site and then brought in and reassembled inside inside the tower, sort of like uh, assembling a, a jigsaw puzzle inside of a coffee can or something. There was very very limited um, very limited space. Um, but we'll see as we go inside the, the first tower here the uh, the the precision and the the tightness, the way that it all it all fits together to create a new structural element for the uh, for the tower so this is the new steel structure here and uh, this is going in to replace these are the old steel elements which were uh, which were completely encased in brick we took them all down um, and then this is the uh, this is the new brick that's coming in. Um, this you can see on top where this attaches into the uh, into the steel framework that makes the um, that makes the spire on top. The steel structure is going to uh, replace and greatly enhance the stability that was provided by these old uh, steel members that are in place. So it's going to add a lot more uh, a lot more structural support for the tower um, for the tower that rests on top of it. So that's really why the, the new steel structure is as beefy as it is. Over the course of time, as the as the steel scaled, um, it started to push the terracotta out. It started to um, to fracture the, the bricks inside the tower. So, you know, if if left uh, um, untreated, it, it would have there would have been some serious structural problems down the line uh, with the towers. This work that we're doing right now will absolutely add to the uh, the longevity and the long life of uh, of the of the church here.